What's going on people, Mickey here and today I'm back with episode 4 of my Order B series. So before we start this off, obviously we've got our 302k and we said we'd upgrade that to the max cape. So we've got to add another 150k. So let's quickly just take that out of our pouch and deposit that into the bank. And let's get our max cape out. There we go. So let's wear that and throw our... I oh, know I can't wear it. Um, I guess we'll just have to use... Oh no, skill cape's the same. Uh, so I guess we'll just have to take that 150k back. Yeah, let's take that back, back to 302k. And I think we're going to try to go for an upgraded weapon this episode. So yeah, let's get into killing these level 7 farmers. Okay, we've made it to the level 7 farmers. So let's kill 10 of these. And I'll be back with you once we're done after 10. This is going to be the last farmer that we need to kill. And all we got was a Harrowlander, so it's a bit disappointing. But yeah, that's 10 farmers done. And we're going to move on to warp flies. But let me quickly add... I don't know if I said this in the last couple or not. It might, the screen might look a bit different, but that's because I'm playing on a new monitor now. And it's a lot bigger, so it stretched everything out. But yeah, that's the reason why. And let's make our way to warp flies. Back in the Lumbridge dungeon, let's kill these level 7 warp flies. I don't actually know what these drop, but I'm going to quickly look up why we're killing 10 of them. And I'll be back once 10 of them are done. Right, so that's 10 warp flies done. I think they've got the same um, drop table as um, goblins. So yeah, nothing special as you can see, mostly bones, but they're selling for a decent amount still. So it's not too bad, they all add up and we're moving to the next monster. At the Ectophantus now to kill under chickens. So this is going to take no time at all and obviously they're just going to drop the same as chickens. So yeah, I'll be back once I've killed 10. Okay, that was a quick 10 kills and all we got was the chicken and the bones. So yeah, just as we expected. So the next monster is going to be Cave Goblin Miners. So they're going to be in the Lumbridge uh, Mining Caves. I guess that that's what they're called. So we we'll make our way there and I'll be back once I'm at the Cave Goblins. Okay, we're at the Goblin Miners now. And obviously they're only going to drop um, ores and all that. So it's not going to be the best task. But yeah, let's get these 10 done and quickly fly to the next monster. That is the 10 cave goblin miners complete and the next monster is going to be goats in Narda so yeah they're going to drop goat horns which should be a decent amount of money so yeah let's make our way to Narda and kill the goats at the goats now so let's quickly just kill one for the video there we go and show you what they drop so desert goat horn and bones so how much is the horn going for 636 what if we grind it these are sellable ain't they yeah so it goes up another 500 gp so yeah we'll kill 10 of these grind the horns and move on to the next monster okay that's the 10 goats killed with their horns grind so yeah that's going to be a nice 11k from the horns 4k for the bones 15k altogether that ain't a bad task really is it for a level 7 goat so yeah, the next monster is going to be a level 7 poisonous snake in Mosley Harmus. And while I was killing that, I was actually thinking about upgrading my staff. So I need to check how much a polypore staff is and yeah, we'll upgrade to T75. But for now, let's go kill that poisonous snake. Okay, we're at the snakes now. Let's kill one and just quickly show you what they drop. Oh, I didn't actually one hit it. So yeah, they drop snake hides, which are going for... 7k each so yeah we're gonna make 77k from this task so i'll be back once i've killed 10. that is the 10 snakes killed so let's quickly just price check the hides quickly there we go 77k so that's that's actually a really nice task there that pushes up quite a bit so yeah the next monster is going to be level 8 white wolf so yeah we'll head over to the white wolf mountain now and go find the level 8 wolves we have found the level 8 wolves, so yeah, they're going to drop wolf bones which sell for 
a decent amount so yeah we'll collect 10 of them and i'll be back once it's done okay that was the last white wolf mountain so there we go let's quickly price check what we've got here we go all the meat and the bones so another 45k plus that 70k for the last task that's pretty decent i think we might actually buy the upgrade now so yeah let's actually go buy a new star at the grand exchange now let's quickly check oh actually take note don't take notice of that so yeah let's check how much a polypore staff is oh 1.5 mil never actually knew it was that expensive uh so let's quickly double let's check what else we can buy so weapons so tier 75 probably wasn't a great idea what about a staff of light guessing that's going to be about 800k staff of light yeah one mil Ooh, so i go even lower so that was tier 75 as well weren't it yeah it was so aaron's no list i think aaron's staff is going to be like a mil as well ain't it dragon battle staff no Gothic staff. Uh, so let's really check a Gothic staff and a Arim staff. So there we go. Doesn't need the apostrophe there. So Arim staff is five mil. So yeah, definitely ain't buying that. And a Gothic staff is oh you can't actually you have to get them from the guy don't you da -da 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 -da. what should we do because we've got a chaotic staff in here but i'll leave that for the next episode if you think well get me give me a price on what it should be to use my chaotic staff i'm thinking maybe a mil and obviously we're nowhere near that right now so yeah if we get a mil we get the chaotic staff so let me know in the comments if you think i say equal trade so we got 300k we checked all the armor last episode and we didn't have enough didn't we so yeah i think we'll just carry on and move on to killing unicorn fowls okay so we found the unicorn fowls no we actually haven't because we're actually looking for level 8 ones so yeah let me quickly do some research where the level 8 ones are it, so they were just a bit lower than the black one so yeah let's kill the unicorn fowls and they don't actually drop the horns like the normal unicorn so we're just going to be collecting 10 bones so I'll be back with you in a minute so that was the unicorn fowls complete all they dropped was bones which is not the best really but now we're going to move on to level 8 desert snakes and to be fair that's another rubbish task as well because they're just going to drop bones as well so let's quickly head over there now and i'll be back once i've got 10 bones from desert snakes that's 10 bones from desert snakes there you go level 8 and the next monster is going to be a level 8 cave bug which requires slayer and obviously we are 109 slayer so that won't be a problem so yeah let's head over to the tavali slayer dungeon we made it to the cave bugs so let's kill one just for the camera yeah i was hoping i didn't need like salt or something to finish them off but yeah they can drop um quite a lot of herbs so yeah we'll see that was three just there and we'll kill seven more and see what we get okay that was 10 cave bugs killed We've got a few herbs two nature runes tinderbox and that was probably about it so now we're going to try sell off all our loot and see what we're end with okay from this episode this is all our loot in our inventory now so i'm going to quickly sell it all on the ge and you know what before we do that 
let's actually collect that Nox and quickly throw that in the bank because I don't want to be mixing that in with this stuff. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to quickly sell all this loot off from this episode and I'll be back with you once that's done. Okay, so we're back from selling everything in the GE and this is what we're left with. So let's quickly price check all our stuff for this episode. So 518k, our glory, battle staff, ganodermic boots and our ring of wealth. So we finished last episode off on 413k. So that's 215k profit in this episode. So yeah, I don't think that's too bad really. We only killed a few monsters this episode, but 213k, I don't think that's too bad. So we could potentially, I'd say another two episodes, upgrade our staff to something a lot better. Plus we'd be getting into a lot more better monsters. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode of All The Beasts, please leave a like. It does help me out quite a lot, you wouldn't know. and subscribe for more RS3 content. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Mickey out.